Hello and welcome to another episode of Super Kali Funnelistic. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and today we're going to talk about ClickFunnels ActionEdX MD and their currently launched private beta. Now before we get to that, as always, a quick welcome to all of you who tune in for the first time to one of my episodes. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button in the corner right down here so you don't miss out any future content. Now let's talk about ClickFunnels Action at XMD. And I actually want to talk a little bit about ClickFunnels pricing before to um, avoid any misunderstandings. So ClickFunnels currently has basically um, a total of up to six different plans that you could sign up for, or actually five right of now. The first one would be the $19 share funnel plan, which will require you to sign up using a share funnel link and doesn't offer an SMTP or autoresponder. So you need to use third party SMTPs and third party autoresponders. The second option would be the regular $97 plan, with all, which is pretty much the same, just with higher limits. And you can actually build your own funnels and not just have share funnels compared to the $19 plan. And it also requires a third party solution for your autoresponder and SMTP integration. Yeah. Now, the next plan would be ClickFunnels Action uh, ClickFunnels Edison Suite, sorry for that, which comes to $297 and allows you actually to use ClickFunnels ActionEdX. Now, ClickFunnels ActionEdX is a tool within ClickFunnels. It's, however, something different from ClickFunnels ActionEdX MD, which is a plan on ClickFunnels. Yeah, most people for some reason um, mix this up. It's I think it's a very bad choice of naming for the service or feature in, inside ClickFunnels and the plan as well. Um, but there is a difference. So if you're on the Edison suite or the full suite for $297, you do not have access to ClickFunnels internal SMTP, but you will need to use a third party SMTP. However, you can use ActionNetics, which is then your autoresponder where you manage all your email lists and email campaigns. Now that said, ClickFunnels ActionEdX MD also offers to use the internal SMTP where they in turn actually are using SendGrid in the background. So if you get SendGrid because you're on the Edison suite, SendGrid will charge you depending on the amount of emails that you send. If you are lucky enough under quotes to be one of the few people that had ActionEdX MD before it was switched back into a private beta, um, you can use SendGrid through ClickFunnels and you actually are not built for the emails you send, but for the contacts within your account. So for people that send daily emails to big lists, most likely the ClickFunnels plan will be the better solution for people that have huge lists, but don't send to all of them daily. Maybe the SendGrid option would be the better solution if we look at it just from a pricing perspective. Now, there's an issue with that. I said like ActionEdX MD already has been available when we joined ClickFunnels. We, we got that package and um, we've been using it since ever since. Yeah. And now suddenly they switched it back into a private beta, which doesn't make sense. If you have a feature public and then suddenly you say you don't accept new signups because we're improving it or something, it just doesn't make sense because it means basically that ClickFunnels opinion is that the product is not stable enough for to have new people sign up, but they do not inform ex existing clients about it and so on. Yeah. So it's really, it's really a little bit of a mess right now when it comes to ActionEdX MD, especially when I think that we uh, that a downgrade from ActionEdX MD to the Edison suite according to support is not possible. And what's even worse, if you want to use more than uh, free, no, no, it's not free domains. You can have unlimited. Never mind. If you want more to want to use more than three different SMTPs or payment gateways in your account, you actually need ActionEdX MD because the Edison suite does not allow you to add more. Yeah. So as of now, I think ClickFunnels is in a very very bad spot with their development team, in in my opinion, because they took that feature that you would need to scale up. For example, you may ask yourself, why would you need multiple SMTPs? Maybe you have a website, projecta.com or funnelA.com, funnel B, funnel C, funnel D. Yeah, so you would already have four different domains. Now your follow-up emails, you probably want to send from addresses that say email from funnel A, email from funnel B and so on. Yeah. And for that, you would need more SMTP integrations. In our case, although we don't have that many funnel builds, we already run into the limiting issues of only having three SMTPs. While we are already on ActionEdX MD, if we would upgrade um, ActionEdX MD is priced differently. As I said, on one hand, you're built depending on the contacts, but the price also increases when you need more SMTPs or payment gateways. So while it usually starts at 297 for up to 5,000 contacts, free SMTPs and free payment gateways, 
if you actually want to, uh, for example, have a fourth SMTP, you're already looking at, a, I think it's a hundred dollar extra charge, although it also increases your contact limit to 10,000 or 15,000, something like that. Yeah. So what I'm asking myself is like, why would ClickFunnels do that? And I'm honestly like, while, while I'm, while I'm like really a huge fan of the page editor that ClickFunnels has, if you've been following me, you already are aware that I already switched my payment processing to pay kickstart that I'm currently moving my members areas to Kajabi and like more and more, I just see that ClickFunnels has a great page editor, but everything else that they offer, I, I host all my domains at Cloudflare because the DNS management in ClickFunnels is just horrible. Yeah. So I'm not saying that you should stay away from ClickFunnels by far not like it has the page best page editor. And if you just get started, you can use all of their features, but you will run into some issues apparently. Yeah. But if you want to scale up your business or do it in a professional way, you will need to use different services. You will need, if you have a members area with a lot of videos or multiple members areas, you will want to use something like Kajabi for the members areas, which also offers you to host your Vistia videos for the members area and all Kajabi pages. Uh, for free. Yeah. So they hosted at Vistia and you don't have to pay, which saves you a lot of money because you're the, the most bandwidth usage and the most views will be within your members area. Yeah. And, um, you need to move your payment processing, um, for example, either to ClickBank or if you are, prefer a more modern solution with more features like I did to pay Kickstart, you can find the links to all of those services down below. Yeah. They are affiliate links. So if you sign up, I may or most likely get a commission to be fair. Yeah. But however, I'm also using them myself. It's my recommendation because I myself got stuck with ClickFunnels. If you want to add, like the page editor is really amazing, but if you want to accept PayPal and credit card at the same time, you need third party solutions, which you again have to pay for. But because it's third party solution, ClickFunnels support just will tell you, well, we do not support any custom code and also don't offer troubleshooting. Yeah. So at the moment or as of right now, and I've mentioned it in my previous videos as well from time to time, the best solution for you is to use ClickFunnels solely to create your funnels and actually to build the pages, to build the, the opt-in page and handle the opt-ins, yeah. And as soon as you have an order form, use pay kickstart. If you wanna create an affiliate program, use pay kickstart. If you wanna um, build a members area, use Kajabi, connect everything with Zapier and you're set, yeah. Like then you have a really professional setup where your customers won't experience issues like trying to get into a members area in a certain version of Internet Explorer and seeing no content at all, yeah and a million other issues that are like where ClickFunnels is just not um yeah not, not done properly to be fair yeah like i really i really love click funnels and, and and the funnel builder is really amazing and the content that russell's put russell puts out provides so much value to be honest yeah um but lately seeing more and more about the issues that are within click funnels to be fair there are changes that could be fixed in less than 30 seconds for example when you are on the 297 dollar plan which includes the chat feature inside your account the top menu will cover the chat so you cannot close it yeah that's something that's an issue that would take astonishing like actually one line of css code and less than 30 seconds to fix yeah but it hasn't been fixed yeah uh, at the moment the get response api has been updated so when you want to integrate get response you would need to reach out to click uh, to get response so they downgrade your account to the api version that clickfunnels still supports it would take maybe a minute to put a note on the integration page for get response that states, please reach out. No, nobody does that. So the ClickFunnels support gets like 10 to 20 tickets daily asking, I cannot integrate with get response. So like there's a lot of small issues with ClickFunnels. The page editor is really amazing. I love Actionetics as an autoresponder with the features you have because you can target things like, okay, a person that saw this specific page but didn't see this one and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, however, as soon as you start using um, pay kickstart for your emails, for example, um, you, you lose the capability to target people that bought a specific product unless again you use Sapia like I'm doing to add text to people so you can still have a workaround. Yeah. So overall, overall, I'm just curious, like maybe you can let me know in the comments below who of you is also using Action at XMD, who of you wanted to upgrade and now notice that he cannot upgrade to that feature anymore. And who of you has already like decided to use another uh, solution for their auto uh, SMTP? In the end, Actionetics MD is really just about your SMTP integration. Either you sign up for SendGrid, Mailgun, or any of the other supported integrations, or you use Actionetics MD and you can use the ClickFunnels SMTP, which again will use SendGrid on a plan nobody knows. Yeah. So you, I, I've, I've seen reports of people that get an error that says like you've reached your ClickMail limit or something, which indicates that apparently 
they run into a limit from SendGrid within the ClickFunnels SendGrid integration. So I'm honestly considering like at some point to simply switch to SendGrid directly, although it's an additional charge that will or, or price that I will have to pay, just like I'm willing to pay for pay Kickstart, Vistia, Kajabi, because it's my business. Yeah, I need to invest in my business. And if one tool, like nobody can be the, I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad or anything at ClickFunnels. Yeah. I understand that there's a core competence like that your business has. And for ClickFunnels, that's building the funnel itself. Yeah. And you cannot be great in every other area. Yeah. So I'm aware if I want to have the best possible solution for my customers and clients, I will need to use multiple services and make them work together. And un uh, unfortunately, that's easily possible thanks to Zapier and thanks to, for example, Pay Kickstart providing great integrations with almost everything. Yeah, um, that's easily possible, but it requires an additional investment. The question is just like, are you willing to to make that investment, or are you rather like willing to have a mediocre solution? Um, because you are not willing to take another or to spend another hundred bucks. But anyway, that said, let me know in the comments below. Are you already an Actionetics MD user or are you using a third party SMTP? Have you been looking to towards like upgrading to Actionetics MD in the future? Or did you already before decide that you will never do that? What are you going to do when you reach a limit or when you want to use more than three payment gateways or SMTP integrations? Are you going to open a second ClickFunnels account for that? Or do you have any other contingency plan? Uh, ready please let me know in the comments below thanks for watching see you tomorrow with another episode till then bye bye thank you for watching this video if it provided you with any value whatsoever don't forget to like it by hitting that thumbs up button down below and also to ensure you don't miss out any future content go ahead right now and click on the subscribe button down below now last but not least the only thing left for you to do is actually pick which of the following two videos you want to see next and i'll see you there